Now, a lot of times, most of us want to escape the urban jungle that we live in, something that is behind me right now. We want to hit the open roads, a set of twisties to enjoy a car that is engaging, involving to drive and has sporty intentions. Now, basically, when you think about Maruti Suzuki, you think about cars which are efficient, cars which are reliable, cars that have a strong resale value and in the past few years, cars that are good looking and are feature loaded. But do you associate the word sporty with a Maruti Suzuki car? Do you say Maruti cars have sporty intentions, they are engaging to drive? Well, that is the big question I want to answer today in the video. This is the Maruti Bronx. It's got a 14,000 cc engine. It's got panel shifters. It's got a slightly stiffer rise and it should be good to drive as well. Is that the reality? Can you take this one to escape the urban mess to enjoy your drive on weekends? The answer lies in this video. Now, first thing first, Maruti and Nexa, they call the Fronks an SUV. So I thought of putting the car away from Tarmac in an off-road location to talk about the first parameter. Design, very important for that engaging factor. If your car looks nice, definitely you'll be giving a second or a third glance after you park the car at the parking in your office or at your place. So the engaging factor has to be there. Sometimes a car is an extension of your personality. And in this matter, in this manner, I think it is one of the best looking Marutis on sale in the Indian market. It's based on the Beleno. No, it's a uh, no two ways about it. It's a fact. It's based on the Beleno, and the Beleno seems to have gone to a gym and to a beauty parlor. Why a gym? Well, the extra muscular factor of the Fronks. And why a beauty parlor? Well, because of the way it looks. It's a flashier version of the Beleno. It's a more muscular version of the Beleno, and no two ways about it. It's a good looking vehicle. A few factors that go in making the Fronks stand out from the crowd. Well, A, it's low, it's wide, so the whole stance is very aggressive. B, the LEDs all around the front ones, which also double up as indicators, or the rear ones. Look at this, even the connected feel over here, LEDs are lovely in my opinion. Next are the Loy wheels, 16 inch in the size, but they look sporty enough. So all these elements, even the spoiler, the wide stance, the low stance, it makes the Fronks a good looking car on the road. And of course, when you go somewhere, when you arrive somewhere, the, the good looks of the car will mean one thing, eyeballs. It's a eye magnet on the road. It looks nice, especially this color of the marketing blue. So in my opinion, the first factor, if you're feeling bored or lazy or you want to run away from the concrete jungle, of course, a good looking car always gives you initial spice, which is required. And now coming to the very important factor of engagement of the fun to drive factor. Uh, the Beleno years back used to have the RS version, a turbocharged 1000 cc engine known to be a good performer talking engine as well. Sort of the same thing is back, the same technology is back is the booster jet engine. Three cylinders, 1000 cc, turbocharged, option of both manual as well as the six speed torque convert automatic, the one we have right now. On paper, 100 bhp of power, which may sound exciting standalone, but the competition at a slightly higher price. For example, the venue in the Sonnet, they offer you more power from their turbo unit. However, again, standalone as a Maruti offering as the most powerful, one of the most powerful, uh, the quickest and the fastest Maruti on sale, this is it. So how quick is the car? Well, the 0 to 120 timing is coming up on your screen. And then we also have the top speed in the first three gears coming up for you guys. First gear, the gear is over here and here we go. 45 80 So in the second attempt, I'll actually move to the manual mode. This is the M or the manual mode and the same can be seen over here. I'll be changing the gears through the parallel shifters. I'll 
shift at almost the 6000 rpm mark will that make a difference let's find out yes wheel spin coming in So as you saw, decently quick figures for the fronts for the price and the segment. But more importantly, you and I won't be driving the car pedal to metal 24/7, and that is where the torque comes into the picture. The torque delivery from under 2000 rpm up till 4000 rpm is strong. So the mid range of the car is definitely strong. Something you need on twisties or something you need while overtaking faster moving traffic on the highways or on the city roads. So that is a strong point. I'll talk more about it once I hit. He wrote right away. The same engine gearbox combination also is handy at highway speeds. At even 85-90, you are still under 2000 RPM, which means you can see over 25 kmpl. Trust me, the sixth gear is tall, so the RPM remains low. At 85-90, if you're gentle, you can get over 25 kmpl from the spirited turbo fronts. A few more factors to keep the engagement high, uh, the seats, they have ample side bolstering so if you are hitting corners at a, at a higher speed, you will be properly uh, in your position thanks to the side bolstering. Second, the visibility, you do sit higher up so I can see the edges of the bonnet, the side mirrors, uh, this mirror, all three mirrors are pretty useful so your visibility, you remain in control, you don't feel hammered in, it's a low car no doubt but you don't feel hammered in and the seats, they keep you in place even when going slightly quicker around a bend or a corner and the sound this is also something important it's not a four cylinder motor it sounds loud thankfully the NVH noise vibration harshness are under control so vibration and harshness are not over there but it is loud like this when you want it to sort of scream And now the engagement factor on the inside. Uh, remember, the torque converter turbo patrol is only available on the two top trims, the Zeta and the Alpha, not on the uh, lower price variants. That is where the AMT or the normal 1.2 come into the picture. Features wise, it's pretty much loaded for the segment. You have the HUD or the head up display over here. You have a semi DG console. I love the dials. The analog thing is old school, lovely. Uh, good sounding, not great sounding, but good sounding audio setup with wireless projection for my for the Android Auto. You also have wireless charging and then ample pieces to keep your knickknacks from your decently large uh, bottle holders on the door pads to a couple of cup holders over here. You also have space under the armrest. This, by the way, is adjustable. Uh, the seats need a, need a special mention. They are spacious. This is a low car, but look at this. I stand six feet tall. I have approximately three to four inches of headroom. A plus point of not having a sunroof. I anyways, I'm not a big fan of the sunroof. So the seats are comfortable. You have ample space over here. Decent amount of features. And of course, the panel shifters, they do help a lot in the spirited driving point of view. This is the engaging, engagement factor on the inside. Uh, even the color combination slightly on the darker side. Uh, dark themes are always good for the luxury factor. And this one does that. A few things on the door pads over here. On all the uh, four door pads, you have the soft touch materials. Very important because you're paying 13 lakh rupees extra room. This is an expensive version, the Turbo Patrol Automatic. 13 lakh rupees extra room. These things do matter a lot. And finally, time for my verdict on the Frong's Turbo Patrol 6 speed torque converter automatic. Will I be going back to the urban jungle behind me in a content and a happy manner? Well, almost there. The issue is that the Turbo Patrol and the 6 speed torque converter is an expensive combination and it's not available in the lower versions. It's only available in the Zeta and the Alpha versions. But that aside, if you look at the product as a product from Maruti Suzuki, it needs a big thumbs up from my end. As an all-rounder, it is sorted. It looks nice. Decent amount of features, spacious interiors, a talky Turbo Patrol. It's quick as well for a Maruti. And overall, if you want to escape the urban mess, if you want to go for a weekend drive to just relax yourself or enjoy the car, you can do that very much in the Frogs.